Start? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you want to make sure your pan's nice and hot. So when you put your oil in, it starts bubbling and, and running real liquidly like water. Then you add your bacon in, and you make sure your bacon is broken apart really good and cook it till it's condensed, cooked down. So all the fat's cooked off it, and it's your really, really heavy bacon smell. So if you look inside, you can see all that grease that the bacon is cooked out of it. That's what you want. You want all that grease cooked out of it. If it doesn't have all that grease cooked out of it, it's not ready to be uh, to add the rest of this stuff. So you get your bacon cooked out, scoop your bacon to the edges, and leave the center of your pot open. Put your garlic. How much garlic do you think that is? About uh, three quarters of the clove to a full clove. Let your garlic brown. Bacon? I didn't even find out how much. One pound of bacon. So you can smell your. Can you smell the garlic? Mm. See the garlic's going to turn clear. That means it's almost done cooking. It shouldn't be white. It should start turning translucent or even a little bit burnt. Then you add your jalapenos. About how many? Two to three, depending on how spicy you like it. Again, you put it in the center. Let it brown first. And you shouldn't put anything else on top of it until the, the jalapeno is really cooked out and you can smell the jalapeno. You can't really smell the jalapeno, it's not ready yet. Not quite, this jalapeno is not very spicy, so. We like to cut the jalapeno in long chunks so you can see it for people who don't want to eat the jalapeno. Don't, don't find themselves mystery little pieces of jalapeno that get them uh, afterwards. And it's starting to smell the jalapeno a little bit. So now you can see the jalapeno is starting to turn clear. or starting to cook. It's not green, bright, bright green. It's, it's turning clear. It's trying to turn a little wilted look. You mix it nice and well. Got a little more smell to it. Can I get the cabbage? So when you add the cabbage, you add your whole head of cabbage into it without putting anything else in there. Break up the clumps so they're not too big of a clump. Pack it down as much as you can. Add your salt. I use sea salt. And it's by taste. Does it matter if it's coarse or not? No, it doesn't really matter. Just sea salt. Okay. Sea salt. Roughly for this much cabbage, probably. Your, your cabbage is about two, pound and a half, pound and three quarters. You want to add about a teaspoon and a quarter of salt. At this point, you just cover and let it sit for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes? Yeah. So it's been about 10 minutes and you can see our cabbage has shrunk down about a half, a little, a little less than half, about a third. Now we add chicken broth. About a cup? About a Oh, quarter mm. cup. Quarter? Okay. Cover back up, let it continue steaming for another five to six minutes and then we'll stir it. So it's been about three minutes, three, three and a half minutes since we added the chicken broth and continue to let it steam. As you can see, now it's really turning that pale green, the yellowy green, and it's turning transparent and it's falling apart. That's re That's almost about ready. So now you can mix it, but the whole thing is you got to keep the temperature at high the whole time. You don't want to turn the temperature down. Burns a little bit on the bottom, it's okay. It gives it more flavor. 
So then you want to make sure all the juice, there's a little bit of sauce left in there. You want to make sure it mixes up all the salt and seasonings with everything in there. Okay. Okay, done.